pockets like that and we'll do the same with the other pocket and then we're going to stitch this down like that so I'll do that for you now and then I'll come back to this point so here we are both of them have been done and so that you can see it what happens is this point goes over there by the time these are stitched to the trousers you put your hands inside the pocket and that you will see from the outside sometime you know when men are fibbling fingling around with their trousers so this type of pocket is different from the usual one which I've shown you in the past whereby it ended up like that but this one is not it's going to be closer in so here we are we have two pockets now so I've done this the other one so we have a pair and a pair of pockets and those will be stitched to the side of the trousers all right so this is the trousers and what I like to do really I don't know what the pattern suggests but in order to save problem I think I'll continue I like to stitch this point up here and stitch this here now you can see this is slightly off so what I'll do in order to make them look both the same not that it matters anyway I'll just tidy it up by uh, just cutting them equally so they're both the same same size so I will now just stitch from there to there from there to there uh, no I won't I'll stitch those first and then after. I'll let you know what I'm doing later. All right then. So there's the pockets. Then we'll move on to the next step, step. Right. Now we're going to put the back pocket on. Um, there's the dart. And there's the pocket going across. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to stitch the darts on both sides and then I'm going to proceed to put the back pocket on. Here are some strips I've done which when you stitch the pockets on they go like this from top to bottom. And then you cut that open and then you have the hands go inside and this shoves inside and it goes on top of the dart as well it gives it a bit of effect. And then we have the lining. Up today, I'm going to stitch it onto that side when it's all done and in. And then I'm going to put it up to the top. And then the top pocket, I'm going to stitch it on the top to seal it so it's nice and strong. So, first of all, I'm going to stitch the darts down, oh, uh, close, and then I'm going to stitch these on the top this way what I've done as well is on these little strips the raw edge I have stitched approximately just over a quarter of an inch seam so there's a stitch line there as a guideline so that when I stitch this onto the trousers it's nice and straight and it's the same size and they're both the same size and then by my finish they will look like that and you won't see the stitching that I've done on top. So I'm going to get on with that and I'll bring it back to my table. So here you will see that I've stitched the dart and it's on top of the uh, pocket. Now I'm going to put the pocket flaps in. Underneath this, I've got a guideline with where to. Uh, let me so you can see it. Where I'm going to start and stop. There's one start, start there, and I'll stop there. I'm going to use that as my the distance that I'm going to start. I'm going to face the raw edge of my flat downwards because that's going to turn in inwards. It's almost like doing a box, actually. I should have drew in a box 
but...